I'm back and I have another video for you guys. I decided to do the solid color challenge once again. I know you guys are probably thinking, hey, you just did this challenge. It's true. I really did just do this challenge. I'm not even going to pretend. I don't even know what I would say. I did just do this challenge. I did it with white and I thought, you know what's worse than white? Black. Because having an all black house is just a really... I don't know. It's just rough. Like, here's the good thing about black. If you stain something, you won't be able to see it because it's black. But on the flip side, everything looks dark. And this house looks kind of gothic. Which is fine. It's not my style, but it's it's fine. You know, it's kind of interesting actually because in middle school, people used to think I was goth. And I don't even know where this idea came from because I wore a uniform in middle school. Like, we didn't, we didn't wear, I could, I could never wear all black because we were always, I, I went to a private school, there was a uniform, I don't know where people got the idea, they're like, she's goth, and I think it's just because I have darker hair, and this one time, because we also get, like, free dress days, you know, so we get to wear whatever we want, and every once in a while I would show up in an all black outfit, but I couldn't even tell you that I own, what, one or two pair of black jeans, and I don't even know how many of my shirts. I don't even think I had all black shirts. Like, that wasn't a thing. And I certainly didn't wear them all the time. So I don't know where me being goth just, like, became a thing. And it made me so mad. Oh, I can't... Oh, it's just so terrible. Because you know what happened is I had this friend who... Or no, I had this classmate who made this happy club. And it didn't last very long. Like, it was just a joke, kind of. Um, and then my friend, like... She joined the happy club, and then she's like, you can't join the happy club because you're goth. And I'm like, but I'm not, well, for one, I'm not goth. And then you're saying that goth people are unhappy, and that's just not true. <laughs> she's like, you're goth, you can't be happy. But I'm like, one, I'm not goth. Two, goth people aren't unhappy, and <laughs> that's like not how goth works. So I just thought it was interesting because, like, what defines someone as goth? Like, there are plenty of people who wear all black and they don't get labeled as goth just because they wear all black. There's so much that goes into it. And so I feel like on top of that, it's just, like, one of those identity things where you have to name yourself goth. Like, people can't name you goth for you. That's just not how it, that's not how it works. So that really made me upset. And to this day, I will still get, like, angry if people call me goth, like, as a joke. And I'll just, like... I just have to like take a deep breath and I'm just like, nope, they're joking. But that just, it bothered me so much. For a while that jokes like that, unless they came from friends who I really knew were joking, I would get kind of peeved when people would make a joke, oh, she's goth. Because if every once in a while I'll show up in an all black outfit, it's like, oh, she's goth. I'm not. <laughs> I have maybe two black, I don't, even now I have like two black shirts in my closet. So, I would be kind of shocked if someone still decided to say I'm goth now. Not that being goth is a bad thing, by the way. Little disclaimer here. I I know nothing about being goth. I really know nothing. And it's not my cup of tea. And But you can be whoever you want to be. And I think that's my point. Um, Don't label people as something they're not. I just don't understand it. Why would you even need to do that? But, okay, mini rant is over. So a thing about this build, I kind of imagine this as like a home um, where the family who lives here came from like wealth, like that passed through lineage. So this is like a really traditional, I almost want to say Victorian, but it's definitely not Victorian. I don't know. I'm going to go search up some house styles and see what type of house style this would be. Because I'm kind of curious and I'll put it in the description and I guess we'll find out what type of house this would be called, like what style. And I also want to mention that this is not a vampire house. I didn't make this for Vampire Sims. You can download this for a regular family if you so desire to. I don't know why you would download this for a regular family, but it's there. Um, because I felt like doing a house for vampires is a cop-out. Like, such a big cop-out. Because obviously vampires have all black, and I think- I mean, the whole theme of the vampires pack is purple, red, gold, silver, and just black. So I felt like doing that would be such a cop-out, and so I didn't do um, a vampire home, and what I mean by that is that there's no gargoyle, 
gosh, I can't speak. There's no gargoyles, there's no creepy vampire paintings that, except for one, because that was the only black painting I could use. There's only like two paintings that are all black, with the exception of these, but you wouldn't use these in like a family's like traditional bedroom because they're not traditional paintings, they're posters. But there's like almost no black paintings. So no gargoyles, no coffins, no other creepy vampire references. So yeah, so this is actually a pretty normal home. It uses a lot of Realm of Magic, a lot of Get Famous. Obviously it does use stuff from the vampire pack. I think the wallpaper is from the vampire pack, but it's not like the creepy one with like the bats on it. It's just like normal looking black wallpaper. So that was also enjoyable. I'm not sure what other packs I use. I'm sure I've used a lot. I always use a lot of packs. But those are like the three main ones that I can say for certain you need to download this. I'm trying to think. Um, I do have toddlers. So the toddlers pack... But to be fair, the toddler doesn't even have that much because there's not that many, like, black toddler things. I'm sorry about the roof clipping right here. I'm gonna see if I can fix it. I haven't, like, finalized this build yet for uploading. I'm gonna see if I can fix it because it looks really bad in the screenshot. But I'm not sure that I can without compromising the way it looks on the outside. But I'll see what I can do, and if I can fix it, I will. I really hate that about roofs that clip. Like, I don't understand how that works because they don't clip at all and then sometimes they clip a lot. <laughs> I don't know. It's just weird. So I made it so that um, every bedroom had a study. Like, the kid has a, um, a computer, the master bedroom has a computer, and then the bedroom downstairs is attached to a study. So I like to think of it as their study, and I, the way I envisioned like who lives in this house is one toddler, one teenager, two, uh, two parents, and then two grandparents that live in that bedroom. And so I figured that study space would kind of be just for the grandparents, but I don't know if that's feasible. So, so yeah, I actually made Sims for this, and I'm like, I have this whole story in my head where it's like, the dad's parents live with them and like the wife is constantly pre proving herself to the to the mother because the mom wants what's best for her precious son and like she doesn't like the wife even though they've been married for so long and now they live with each other for whatever reason but yeah so I have this like whole story made up in my head and I think I might play it just for fun um but yeah I'll attach the the challenge rules down below um, I didn't look any at any bills prior to this, so I don't have any videos to link as well. But you guys can certainly find videos if you so desire. Um, just for the record, I end up changing all the lights in this in this house later on, and I end up changing their placement too. Because when I was taking when I was taking the screenshots, they looked super weird where they were placed, so I end up changing them. You'll see it when I take the screenshots, or when you look at the screenshots, because I obviously changed the build for the screenshots to make it look nice. But, yeah. I don't know what else to say. How much time do I have left? I have none time. I have no time. Okay, so you guys are currently looking at screenshots right now. So I'm going to end up leaving, and I'm going to say... Thank you guys so much for watching. As always, if you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up. If you like me, hit that subscribe button. If you really like me and want to be notified every single time I post, the moment that I post, you should go and hit that bell button. Um, I hope you guys are having a great time, and I will see you next time.
Guys, can I tell you a secret? I totally cheat on this solid color challenge this this time. Um, if you, I think it's like happened. It happened twice. So if you guys can see it, put it down in the comments down below, and I'll tell you if you're right or not. Okay, I'm gonna go now for real. Have a great day, guys.